Welcome everyone. This is Nichelle Anderson. Happy summer 2019. I am currently on summer break. Thank you for tuning in for my releases during the summer. My podcast show here, Nichelle Anderson, Short Stories and Beyond. I'm going to jump right into it. I uh, just want to give a big thanks. I recently realized and saw that I have people purchasing my book. Actually, both my books, my Mitzrayama memoir, and then my other book that I did, Corporate America, Surviving Your Journey to a Success. I really want to give a shout out to those that did purchase my book to help support a particular project that I'm doing, these podcast shows. I do enjoy it. I know that it is my purpose, but it's always it always good when you see someone is actually, you know, oh, okay, I'm going to check out her book and I'm going to purchase it. I love the effort and the contribution and the choice to, to support in that way. I'm very very, very thankful. I want to give a big shout out to those people that did that. All right, I'm going to go ahead. This is, of course, my summer break, but I still like to release some type of episodes during the summer. Today, we're going to focus on my director clip notes. I'm doing five. I'm going to really try to make this short and not long. Let's go ahead and focus on my director clip notes episode 39. And this is going to be 39 to 43. And then I will have a separate a bonus release. I'm going to separate that while I'm reviewing my last season. That's what I like to do. Let's get started. I have my director clip notes for episode 39 entitled, Natu Moves Forward Amongst Others. That one right there was very, that was actually doing the time where I decided to do the month of December of 2018 to just do complete full release of the short story. And, but it was very, it was called the short of the shorts, which I'm going to do that again (laughs) because it was really fun. And you got the whole full short story since this is a premium podcast and I will leave clippets of the short story and then you become a you know a patron mama you get the full but it was fun to do that and I release let's see a total of four for that month so this one what the main takeaway on that one if you wanted to go back take a listen is where Natu is basically in position to advance forward he already set up his placement in the southern eastern part near Sabrawe and there's a character that comes to light, a big reveal, as I like to say, that you got an opportunity. I'm just going to remember some notes of that here. And it said, I described that many or military officers of the territories continue to position to overall ability to be able to get ahead in a sense of making sure that he's where he needs to be. This right here gave you an opportunity to be able to see in a particular part of that short of the short is where Natu enters the secret location. It seems like further on in the episodes of season two, you'll get to find that it's at the bottom or like in a basement type area that is not really known to many people. And he walks into this secluded area. That's how I open the scene. And Natu is speaking to what we call a herbalist, which is similar to a medical doctor or a scientist that you would say. And he says, what is your concern? And then the herbalist responded back, he is a mystery. He's very strong. In the coming days, he will be able to stay awake and make movement. So we don't really know who this person person is but it's someone secretive of course but Natu resisted as I described and you know he's he's on his way up as he felt I mean he is getting alliances and he's trying to get more and this particular person was the one that interceded to impact his decision to still move forward by having this particular person that Echo back in season one told him not to do because it would give an alert to the Misraes to Queen Hagar at the time when she was the sole ruler as King Milan was getting better from the war right his injuries. Natu said there was no need for concern of his rank in Mitzrayim. We will move forward as planned. This is my gem to secure Mitzrayim under my control. Keep on with the healing of him. I do see the runes and inner strength coming forth. At the end of, of that, what have you, you do eventually or further on in episodes realize who that is and you get an idea of that that is actually later on. It is actually General Tukhan. It will be Natu that will build that is General Tukhan. And that's the person that King Milan and definitely Comrade Datar. Now you know Datar is General Tukhan's son. That's a very, like I said, that's a very good type episode. Please go back and take a look at that. All right, let's move on to episode. And that was released on December the 3rd for that one. So the next one was December the 10th, 2018. And that was episode 40. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at 
All right, so episode 40 was entitled Love Abounds Among Mitzrayans. So I wanted to kind of reveal the timeline where we were. Of course, I'm still having <laughs> Queen Hagar pregnant. I'm just going to tell you, if you've been following this for a while, she's going to be pregnant for a while. Because I just love these different um, paths that are being shown to me or being being influenced to focus on and write about so it's going to be a long because this whole season or these two seasons at least is during the time before princess amina was born because princess amina came about through the timeline of the book my mitzrayam a memoir so in this particular episode i'm revealing ezra ezra is the herbalist the high scientist of mitzrayam so he have a lot of knowledge and he has a wife and she enters this particular scene where it is being revealed to the to the king and queen Milan and Hagar that his wife is also pregnant this sets up to reveal the future birth of Naha and so here we go the same timeline I know in season one I kind of didn't really reveal will it be Princess Aminia because he did have a, a brother Aminia and Hannah Princess Hannah and Princess Amina. So we learn the first name of Nahar mother. In the book, she did not come through. It was just Nahar and his father and his father brother, which would be Nahar uncle. But at any rate, so we get into that where we're talking about the royal commune, the next phase of checking Hagar, making sure that the birth is going as as fine as it should be and that's what Ezra role is so he does a lot of things in the palace and in the overall of Mitzrayim he's kind of a slash of a priest scientist herbalist and very wealthy his family was very wealthy so that makes Nahar to be as well and at any rate so she enters the scene her name is Nairobi I just love the name and I think we're going to learn more about her that's what the feeling that I get because remember if you are just tuning into this podcast i'm writing this just as it comes through just what i feel what i'm being influenced by to do and so it's just by spirits i'm just writing the same way that i wrote mitch ram so i do feel that she's coming through you know somewhat that we will find more about that whole relationship and how it happened and so forth but for right now she enters that room and then they you know they you know two mothers two mother to be nairobi i didn't really pick up that nahara had a previous sister or brother but they connect and it's just the title of it love abounds because new birth is new beginnings love positivity that hope that was that whole theme there and to introduce the fact that Nahara will be because they was close at the same age so I really love that episode and some of the the notes that I have that is where king and the king and queen gas would for Nairobi that this is a blissful for you Ezra and Nairobi and then King Milan I remember him saying when there is a new in twos and threes they absorbs above is surely bringing us much good tidings to come forward so he's basically repeating what I just said earlier new birth um, when a baby is on the way it's basically a symbol it symbolized a new birth happiness joyfulness hope um, new beginnings and that's what he basically was saying so they kind of bond and it also set the clock that you see on the timeline what's to come in the future Naha and Princess Amelia will become really good friends okay so let's move on to the next episode and that again was that one that I just talked about was published on December the 10th and then we're going to move to December the 24th episode and it was entitled King Milan Reigns Supreme in the Sedan. So that's episode 41. And this one right here, I really did enjoy it as well. It says, um, basically my notes here, that King Milan, you know, after a while, let's say a couple weeks or whatever from the last episode, we kind of advance a little bit and it's time for him to, to go and meet the union. It's similar to what we do here with all the world leaders and they come together and they go, okay, King Milan is going to show up, right? Because he's been off the scene because of the war. And that's how I started this podcast season. It was something happened. That's why Queen Hagar was the, the ruler of Mitzrayam. And so King Milan, he went to go see, it's calling it the commune of the basically the commune of these tribal leaders and within moments he enters when everybody's pretty much there and make it known you know because it was whispers it was so and so some knew about echo demise echoes from orion that got the demise from king milan of course you know what happened in this episode the last of finale in season two but he's on the scene and also who shows up is king kohan king kohan is mentioned in my book but he really wasn't um there in a sense 
he already moved on to the next cycle cycle of life and so that that's how king dama and that's the future king that's on the timeline of princess aminia right in the future and but he's there but king young danielle danielle would be a king ruler and he of course would be the mate for princess aminia in the future and he's there learning the reins of a young young boy there i'm not too young but young enough to be on the scene and they arrive and king milan he makes his entrance and make it known that yes he survived and this is it and he said this and i love this line he said in this day my name will be known farther than this realm of tamat for many here were a part of the war against mitzrayam and one by one he will be your demise for the betrayal he ain't playing and to put them on notice so you have these tribal leaders that he has to identify of networking and going against their whatever agreement that they have it hasn't been revealed yet but there are definitely some betrayal so you do show the determination of king milan to not only return back to the throne of mitraeum but to identify those that are going against the overall rule of tamat which tamat is another name from earth okay all right so let's move on to the next one that's december the 31st it is entitled when love was divine so that's episode 42 and this one right here was very i didn't get a chance really to talk about princess hannah which is the firstborn she came out much more in episode one i'm sorry in, in season one she was in episode one go check it out if you have it before the time of princess Samia. it's hannah is in there with queen haga but at any rate i didn't really get that chance and i also just felt i wanted to talk about okay i love the title when love was divine because that's true love we always i believe most of us if not all want to feel love want to have true love because love doesn't hurt love is aimed for positivity it's food for the soul doing this type of conversation where she's bonding with her daughter princess hannah and so in this one king milan is down south remember in the previous episode 41 on december the 24th king milan is down south near sababre what have you and that's where these commune of tribal leaders and kingdoms of rulers are meeting and it's you know of course after the war and so she's there still concerned she's pregnant of course now mind you she's still in her early stage right queen haga but she's talking to princess hannah and she feels her mother concerned about king milan away you know that's what a woman does when they love their man right you want them to return safely and at any rate princess hannah with her ability she's able to sense that and so she said mother i feel that my father will return well for the etherans have his have him closer to them at this time so etherans is another way of our spirit guides it's another way to show that's a higher power the divine is watching over us and that to you know ease peace so she picked up her concern from her mother that queen haga beamed down to her daughter and she said indeed he will return and she also gave her encouragement and reinforcement that I love to see and she said to Princess Hannah you will be a rise queen in the Yapsu and Yapsu is another name for saying the sun so Princess Hannah of course loved and enjoyed that because she loved her mother loved her mother and so that was the bonding and then later on there's a message that's been delivered to uh, Queen Haga Um, her father is still there right which is grandfather Tahib the elder and she reads it and it's from Malan so of course he was being so thoughtful and made sure that she got a message and basically it was very warm and encouraging and just telling her that he loved her and that even though we're apart we're together and I think that's so romantic because I'm a romantic person <laughs> also the caring and the connection because when you have the real connection with someone you can be apart but you still can be together it's a higher level in that sense and it all's within that realm of true love so I thought that was wonderful and so right so the next one will be ruling speaks upon the new rule now this was actually published on march the 4th because remember i took january and february and dedicated those to other short stories if you just following me and you read you just you know listening to this particular podcast release sometimes during my year of my season i might release different most likely i'm releasing something different right and so it was atlantis in the month of february that was a new production and then there was mahogany that it was a continuation from last uh the summer before which is be 2017 and um sorry 2018 
So summer of 2018, I started Mahogany. So in this particular episode, I really liked it because it's a continuation. So you have to go and check out episode 31. And that was entitled In the Sedan, Many Secrets Run Deep to the Afar. That's one of my popular podcasts as well. And it's very, it shows you introduction to, again, to Rulin and to Elder Tahib, which is the father, right? He's the father. He's in my book, Tahib. I called him Grandfather Tahib. Now going through this podcast, he was just more than just the father of Korean Haga. It came really through just what makes sense now, really strong of his role and his status of being in the ancient, in the mystics, in the school of thought. He did. He 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 was assigned to teach Princess Amina and some other students as well from royal families and wealthy families, what have you, but particularly Princess Amina and Princess Hannah. So go and check that episode out. It's episode 31 from season two, of course, and that was probably published the second week of September of last year in 2018. So let's talk about this particular podcast. So this one is very good. I like this one as well because, again, we're finding out more about ruling because in episode 31, Tahib just told him, don't be worrying about, you know, Queen Hagal. She's going to help her, you know. She chose Milan. And are you going to do the right thing and give us any information of what else is brewing from the war? Has anybody contacted you, you know, to make an alliance? Of course, he didn't know which way he was going to. Because he doesn't like, Rulin does not like King Milan, okay? Doesn't like him. Maybe because Queen Hagal chose uh, uh, you know, cream a lot over him, but that's what it is. So anyhow, he went to go see the two in this episode, okay, in episode 43, and he enters the, the domain where Natu was hiding. So it was Natu trying to get close to Rulin. So Rulin, I guess, wanted to meet with Tahi because he's still trying to decide on which way he wanted to go back in episode 31. And now fast forward, you have him here with Natu. So will he um connect with Natu? And so there you have Natu um, that, you know, let him enter his domain and then also, you know, wanted to know which way would Rulin go, right? You know, he just, Rulin was still kind of not sure. He basically said, I come to see you to learn of your retreat, of your securing the borders that you seek. you right. And then Natu just kind of, you know, pretty much that's what he wanted. But he also responded by saying it is of those in military stance to succeed. So in that rep position of Thor, I think that he in, the, in that position, I think Natu is basically saying, join our forces it's the military it's it's the forces that we will push back and to gain the territory to gain the success and the territories because remember you know king Milan is the king of mitzrayam which we know to be as we call it egypt and so ruling he does have some you know connections and what have you territories but nothing in that regard he's not considered to be a ruler basically a very big prominent tribal leader in the area went to network so for that particular episode you would definitely learn the the dealings that will be set forth and how ruling is also ruling at the end is going to discover that he's actually holding the, his uh, attitude and not to came off like oh i'm sure you know i have a surety that it will come through in that regard what Natu said he's not afraid of what's to come you know because he know lanco was coming to get him or what have you he doesn't sense or know or figure out that hany will be on the scene soon but at any rate ruling before he had left because Natu got called away he must knew of that location or that some um you know the hideout the 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 enclave and figured that there was word you know how people talk that it must be a prisoner that he has that he's going to use as a bargaining chip and realized that it could be the person that he has got word of that they're looking for Mitch Wayne was looking for which is Tuckon General Tuckon and that's the information where Rulin gets and later on we know that he does decide to choose to help King Milan on the behalf of helping Krenaga to tell them that's where Tuckon at and where Natu so Rulin backs out and get out of that and don't want to be a part of that which is good because King Milan said he's going to get everybody up in there right all right so that basically wraps up my director clip notes that I have please go check out these episodes I'm going to 
provide the link so you can quickly click on that and download it or play it and if you like it share it so my next particular summer bonus will be released on July the 15th please check that out when that download and share it please download this app for my podcast and I do have some other announcements I'm going to make that in my next release that you should get um, as well for this month and um, when I review season two so stay tuned for that thank you so much have a good day